Welcome. Let's start by going to Stock Media to drag down white color, then click and go up to Apply Rectangular Mask. Scroll down to Scale to 80. Adjust the width and height to 69 and 37 respectively. Then scroll down to Invert Mask and increase blur strength and the radius to 1 as shown to make a border frame. Further, take a PNG snapshot, then delete the white color on the timeline. Next, drag down the first picture, right-click to crop to fit, and right-click again to copy. Add a video track and paste. Now hide track two, go up to search, and drag down square blur from effect on the picture on track one, and unhide the second track as shown. Click the picture above, then click the crop icon above the timeline. Select 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Go up to click pan and zoom. Adjust the grid as shown. Then click the switch icon at the bottom right corner and apply. Further click, then go up to basic, scale down to 50 and type minus three for rotation. To animate from the right, I go up to apply keyframe to position, then type minus 1474 and move the playhead to one second. Afterward, I go up to apply keyframe to restore position back to zero, then preview. Now go to transition to search and drag down, push down transition 10 adjust to match the keyframe animation as shown. Click the second keyframe point above, then go up to drag down the PNG frame snapshot above and reduce to match. Now click then go up to scale down to 52 and type minus three in rotation for the frame to fit in as shown. Next, go to transition to search for clockwise wipe 02, then drag down and extend to three seconds, then preview. Further highlight all, then right-click to copy, and click the first track, then paste beside. Afterward, click the snapshot above, then go up to rotation to remove the minus from three, then go the first keyframe point of the picture below to also remove minus from 1474, and also from three in rotation so that it animate from the right side accordingly. Now press the Alt key on keyboard as you drag down another picture to replace the one on the timeline then delete the push down transition on the picture and go to transition to drag down push up transition and reduce within the keyframe points. Now we have push down and push up transition for the first and second picture. Now preview. Next, highlight all, then right-click to copy and paste beside. Then go to Media and press Alt key as you drag down other pictures to replace the ones on the timeline accordingly. Now go to Transition to drag down Dissolve Transition in between the background pictures on track one and reduce each duration to 10 seconds as shown. Further go up to add a two video tracks, then go up to effect to search and drag down both 3D motion right and left effect accordingly. Click each, then go up to reduce the blur to zero, change both position X and Y to five as shown, then preview. Now go to up to drag down text title on the track below the 3D effects as shown, then click to advance editing. 
Type in your text, make necessary adjustment like the font, size, and spacing. Afterward, go to Animation to select the third typewriter animation, then apply as shown. So I adjusted the text on the screen, then preview as shown. Now I reduce the text to match with the snapshot below, as shown, then preview. Using the snapshot as a guide, I right-click to copy and paste the text title to the top of other pictures accordingly. Lastly, because the animation of the second and fourth pictures comes from the right side, so I decided to move the playhead back and adjust each text back to the left side, then preview as shown. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to leave a like and subscribe too. Also, the template with eight pictures for this tutorial is in the description. Have a wonderful day.